Mitt Romney's campaign in the U.S. presidential election could be hurt by unguarded comments in the Republican leader made that have ended up all over Twitter. Well, Bruce Orwell uh, is with me to look at the likely fall, fallout of all this. Bruce, um, Romney said that Barack Obama can count on the support of 47% of Americans who are dependent on government, do not pay tax, and believe that they are victims. My job is not to worry about those people, Romney said. Um, where did he say this? I mean, uh, you know, it all seems a little bit unusual. He said at a private fundraiser a few months ago in one of these, um, you know, sessions that he thought he was speaking privately. We, of course, know that Another case. you're very rarely speaking privately when you're in public life these days, but he thought he was speaking privately to a sort of a, in a kind of preaching to the choir sort of way to a lot of like-minded wealthy people who would contribute to the campaign. But unfortunately for him, uh, the liberal U.S. magazine, Mother Jones, has acquired some sort of a recording of the, uh, of, the, of the remarks that he made, which were very bluntly stated, probably in a way that you would not say on the, certainly not in a way that you would say in a campaign stump speech, uh, even if you were articulating the same ideas. I mean, essentially, I mean, they haven't been confirmed, however, uh, have they? I mean, yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, it, it, it is confirmed that it's, this it's was It's him, and last night when this uh, emerged on the, on the Internet, um, Romney sort of hastily convened some reporters and uh, admitted that he had not elegantly stated his case in this group and they were speaking you know more directly than he might have but he didn't back away from the comments. I mean okay, okay essentially I mean is, is there any truth in what he was actually saying or is it just a case that it was just a politic of him to actually say it publicly? Well a little bit of both I mean there, it's kind of in some ways falls into the old uh, you know lies, damn lies, and statistics category, you know, the, the, uh, as Mark Twain said, there are 46% of, uh, there, is, there is research that indicates that about that many people don't pay that many, any federal income tax. But, uh, you know, many of those people are elderly. I was just going to say, a lot of those are pensioners. Many know. of those are very low income. Some of them are wealthy Republicans. Um, and, uh, you know, that doesn't also address the fact that many of those same people also pay payroll taxes, state income taxes, et cetera. What is interesting, though, is, of course, that this has come out, the release of these has come out after the, 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 this thing that he suggested uh, that the average income in America was, what, quarter for a million dollars or something? I mean, which was pretty amazing. Well, in the context of talking about um, some tax cuts, extending tax cuts from the Bush era, he sort of suggested that by his definition, middle income people is up to $250,000. There's, again, there's research that shows that the average income in the U.S. right now is about $50,000. But, you know, it's it's the kind of thing that, um, you know, he, he's making comments publicly that uh, that just appear too blunt for, a, you know, for a time of the campaign where he's trying to close the gap on Obama in these, you know, in these key states, particularly where the people that he's describing in the video, or at least some of them who are he described as victims are the very people that he has to persuade to come he, to his, you votes. know, to his side to, to, to make it work in these key okay. swing states. Okay, Bruce. Um, all rather unfortunate, but there are only six weeks to go, I believe, until the election in early November. So, um, is this really pretty damaging at this stage of the campaign? Well, regardless of how damaging it is, just substantively, it's damaging from a time and distraction, you know, point of view. They're losing, you know, they're losing time. They've whatever momentum they had coming out of the convention. Uh, their own convention seems to have been sort of, you know, uh, stopped or reversed, and you know the polls show that in the in the key swing states in the election that Obama has like a, you know a high single digit lead. So he has a very small amount of time to go on the offensive and um, you know and take his message to the people, and he doesn't need the distractions that push him back in the other direction toward his own goal. Bruce, thank you very much indeed. It's very kind.